Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. What are we doing today? Well, I'll tell you. It's rainy. It's cool outside. Just enough to uh, wear long sleeves, but you might want to take the edge, the chill, off a little bit. Hmm. What would you do? If you're out in a building with no heat and you could uh, use a little bit, just a tad. Well, you could light up your Mr. Buddy propane heater. How about this? This guy operates off of a 20 pound propane tank that is affixed on the back. It has wheels. It works absolutely wonderfully. You can go several different ranges. Um, this one is 6,000 BTU for low, 12,000 BTU for medium, and 18,000 BTU for high. And it will warm up Uh, 420 square feet, which is, oh, I'm sorry, 450, I was looking at the box, 450 square feet, which is pretty dang good. Now, where did I get such a piece of magic from? Got it off Amazon. This is a Mr. Heater brand. It is not the Mr. Buddy. It is akin to it, similar. Uh, it operates off uh, LP, look, propane, and you basically just screw in your 20 pound tank your barbecue grill tank that most everybody has one or two of and if you have one or two you need five or six but that's beside the point you set this thing up and then you just push the button now this is a zero emission but you know that's the, you know let's just be on the safe side so crack a window when you do it and this is also a, a an anti-tip so if it tips over it turns off it is also if you plumb this to a larger tank which you can and, and you're able to and it's allowed um, it has a anti overload which it won't let any pressure come in that exceeds the required amount so it will shut off pretty dang safe now what I also do whenever I do this is I have a carbon monoxide tester just like a you know one of those portable ones a smoke alarm carbon monoxide tester that you know the audible that says fire fire carbon monoxide tested you, you know I have one of those just in case just in case and I want to show you how easy this thing is to light it's really handy more to come okay guys here is the control valve so you would push it in and you would turn it counterclockwise to pilot 15 seconds let it fill and then you would turn it to whatever setting you needed and that is all you need to do so I will uh, turn the valve on I always turn the valve off there we go and now let's see if we can do this more to come okay guys I've got us pulled back a little bit this is the control valve switch that is the pilot light I've got us back far enough to where you can see it now we're going to push it down hold it for 15 seconds there we go the pilot light has lit I hope you can see it actually I'll see if I can zoom us in just a tad.
There we go. You can see it now. Now, we'll cut it on to low. This is an infrared heater. So, it'll take it just a second. And the amount of heat that's nice that is really nice I first saw one of these off of BC trucks channel and I always mention where I find stuff uh, BC trucks a really great channel he bought one of these at a yard sale for 20 bucks he had to do a little bit of work to it and he got it up and going and running he bought his for 20 now I know you asked me tell me wizard where did you buy such a thing? Well, I'm glad you asked. I bought this off of Amazon, brand new, assembled except for two wheels. It has four wheels. It actually has wheels. It will roll around. You can see. It doesn't roll so good on carpet, but you can see. I think I locked the back wheels. And you can see this is starting to heat up for under 100 bucks, $99. Now, it's low, medium, high. Low is the middle. Medium is the one on the right. High is the one on the left. All three, of course. And we are cooking with gas, literally. There we go. How about that? Now, you don't have to keep it on high. If you burn it on low, which is 6,000 BTUs, it will last for three days, that full propane tank. That is pretty dang good. It's actually getting to where it's kind of uncomfortably warm in here. BC, on his videos and has recommended he pop riveted a metal shelf across the top of it and he puts a coffee pot full of water and it will boil water in two or three minutes so you can have function stacking in addition to keeping a room warm you can also heat your coffee now obviously you want to be careful uh, if you have like children or pets or anything like that in and around this because it could get bumped and it could burn somebody. Um, I, I'm not worried so much about somebody knocking it over. It'll turn off. It, you know, it might singe my, my carpet. But I, I don't care about that. I just don't want anybody to get burnt. But how handy would it be to have a shelf across the top and let's say it's it is some sort of you know condition you could actually have a small shelf to cook off of so you could do a pot of beans and a pot of water to clean boil water uh, for drinking or you could just use it to uh, cook a meal with but you can see it's getting brighter and brighter as we're sitting here this is absolutely one of the nicest things I have ever bought off Amazon and I have to say under 100 bucks, 99.46, something like that. My wife saw it and she said, That is so handy. Maybe we should buy a second one. How about that? That means, guys, I was right. How about that? I don't mean to scare you, but I was right. Now, this can go into the house and also heat our house and we can roll it around that is another form of function stacking not only will it work out here it will work inside our house as well more to come okay guys now we're back how about that for a hundred bucks you can have heat and comfort and a way to cook some food or reheat some food for under 100 bucks and it will heat 
a very, very large room. Can't freaking beat it. We have power outages here quite frequently during the winter because we have ice storms and the, and the tree limbs get heavy with ice, fall on the power lines, and go down. We have been without power for 10 days, so I have generators, kerosene heaters, inverters run from cars, 100 gallons of gas. We have all of this just to make ourselves comfortable because we take care of our family and my wife's mother too who is semi-invalid. So heat, warmth, light is actually kind of critical for us. Now, can you get by with candles? Yeah, sure you can. And wrap up in a blanket and everybody sleep in sleeping bags in one room. Yeah, sure you can. Why would you want to do that? When you can have this. Anyway, guys, just a second, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop over here on this side of the screen, as well as my beautiful wife on the opposite side of the screen. We're going to be some videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky. You hear that rain? Guys, take care of your people.